Today you're going to learn 10 important calisthenics exercises. These are highly effective for developing body weight mastery. Which calisthenics exercise are you working towards? Comment below. Everyone watching should know about handstands. Handstands are great because they can be done anywhere, anytime. There's no special equipment required for learning the basic hold. We're able to practice outside or at home. The good news about handstands is they aren't overly tiring either. Handstands can be practiced frequently without impacting our calisthenics training. If you're completely new, it's best practicing handstands against a wall. Doing so helps build overhead strength and endurance. During handstands, focus on body alignment by keeping a braced core. Please don't arch excessively as this builds bad habits we want to avoid. To master freestanding balance, the secret is simple. Practice consistently, be patient, and your body will take care of the rest. We can't talk calisthenics without the muscle up. Pulling our entire body weight up and over the bar demands explosiveness. These are fun because we're combining power production and coordination. Successful muscle ups require a strong pull up and dip. Timing is very important. We need to pull and push at the right moment. When done correctly, the entire movement should become one seamless motion. If muscle ups are impossible or you need to swing and kip, let's take a step back. Explosive pull ups are going to be your best option. We need you developing plenty of explosive pulling power to make things easy. Practice continuous reps using a scapular engaged hang at the bottom. Aim to pull as high as possible every single rep. Try and pull towards chest height when starting out and then progress towards bar to stomach. Explosive pull ups are valuable for all levels looking to master silky smooth muscle ups. The planche is a calisthenic skill everyone should know. It improves straight arm scapular strength, specifically into protraction and depression. The planche is a humblingly hard exercise. Anyone who has tried it before can relate. The goal is to keep our arms straight and legs off the ground. Easier said than done, right? Don't worry if you can't, starting a push up with the pseudo planche lean. We're able to use perfect technique while training the planche position and muscles. With no equipment, we can build stronger shoulders and straight arm scapular mastery. The amount of forward lean dictates the difficulty. Leans are epic for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. There are several front lever progressions from easy to hard. Here's the key principles. Once again, because we're training straight arm scapular strength, locked elbows are a must. Here's something important to understand concerning isometric holds. We get strong in the posture and range of motion trained. Our goal is a horizontal front lever, so make sure the body is horizontal during the hold. Bands are an awesome option for everyone. Having the assistance around the upper hamstrings or glutes is an optimal setup. We're getting a vertical amount of assistance, which supports correct front lever activation. What's nice about this approach is everyone can practice the full front lever shape. Beginners use a thicker band. Advanced, use a thinner band. With assisted training, enjoy the luxury of being in complete control over intensity. Aim for three to five sets of 10 to 20 seconds, choosing a band tension which makes this possible. Using bands isn't better or worse, it's simply a training tool. As long as the straight arm horizontal posture is being progressed, you're going to win long term. Overhead press by body weight, hello pike push-ups. This exercise is taught constantly online because it's a fundamental calisthenics compound. Be sure to use a full range of motion, really open and push tall at the lockout. For general training, choose a hand width which is comfortable. Also, tuck the elbows towards the body for safe and strong pressing. For pike push-ups to work, do them right. Force yourself to lean forwards by staying on the tippy toes. Do you want a big, strong back? It's time to row. Horizontal pulling should feature in everyone's training program. Beginners who can't do a single chin up or pull up should definitely be rowing. What makes this exercise great is the potential for long-term progress. Trapezius, rhomboids, teres major, rear delts, lat muscles, and more are going to grow. These are classified as a low fatigue, high stimulus exercise. 
Rows are ideal for growing bigger muscles without frying the CNS and impacting recovery. Introducing the upper body version of squats, parallel bar dips. The shoulders, chest and triceps are going to be forced to grow bigger and stronger. Aim for 90 degrees at the bottom and locked elbows at the top. For my beginners watching, there is nothing wrong with using bands. We're now training the exact movement and muscles, except at a lower intensity. Pause at the bottom of each rep so your muscles are doing the work. Pay attention to the controlled rep speed and mindful pauses. We need you owning all parts of the exercise in order to improve. What makes chin-ups effective? Let's talk about it. Chin-ups work well because they're reliable and repeatable. Consistent form day to day and week to week makes progress possible. We're less likely to cheat and more likely to use a full range of motion. Muscle and strength gain without compromise is always the goal. Keep doing your chin-ups and don't get distracted. Gains are awarded to people who stay the course and commit. Those more advanced should try finger-assisted chins. Progress difficulty and intensity by removing fingers. These are useful for training towards one-arm chin-ups. Also, unilateral exercises reduce side-to-side -side weaknesses or muscle size differences. Core training should always suit the needs of the bodyweight practitioner. The straight arm position improves our scapular strength into depression. This is a useful attribute to develop for L-sit and planche training. Win-win. Of course, we get the obvious size and strength gains in the ab department as well. Make the leg raise harder by training with straight legs. I'm lowering down and lifting under muscular control. Minimal swinging and minimal momentum. Remaining on tension between reps is also a useful cue. Do this by keeping the feet in front of the hips. The abs should be engaged during the entire set. Push-ups are the ultimate no equipment exercise. If you've got a floor, you've got a gym. No matter what's happening in the world, it's safe to assume push-ups can always be done. Despite how simple the exercise is, many people don't use correct technique. Simply lower until the chest touches the floor and then lock out with straight elbows. With calisthenics, we need to get creative because adding weight isn't always practical. Archer push-ups at the next level everyone can try. Single-sided bodyweight exercises are not easy. This is good because you've got plenty of room to grow. If you're looking for the best training programs, fitnessfaqs.com has everything you need. All the best with your calisthenics journey legends and see you next time.